you have reached the City of St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department. It's absolutely unacceptable. The next available dispatcher will answer your call in the order it was received. Michelle and Jamie Outman are talking about this response from the City of St. Louis. A spokesman sent it to the I-team after we reported on delays that the family experienced after calling 911 while their son had a seizure. It read in part, this incident is an opportunity to educate residents and visitors about how to most effectively use our interactive voice response system as we work to modernize and upgrade it. I think that's an awful lot to ask of somebody in that scenario. Locally, the interactive voice response system is specific to St. Louis. And that means if I call 911 from anywhere here in the city of St. Louis, chances are an automated system is going to pick up the call and ask me to push a button for police, fire, or EMS. Families tell us they've been put on hold for minutes at a time, waiting for a dispatcher to answer their call. Now, if I have to call 911 from anywhere outside the city of St. Louis, like St. Louis County, for example, an actual dispatcher will answer the call. You have a physician, you have a college ed educated mom, we couldn't figure out how to use your automated system. The Outmans told the I-team they called 911 three times, and a dispatcher never answered. At that point in time, we had no hope that, hope that help was coming. In the Outmans case, the city says a passerby at this intersection called 911 and pressed the button for EMS. The city's records also show an EMS dispatcher answered in about 40 seconds, twice as long as the national standard. An ambulance arrived 14 minutes later. The problem has been brewing for years. It's no secret that our 911 system needs our support. Part of the issue is pay. The I-team surveyed surrounding departments and found starting salaries range from $40,000 with free health care to almost $50,000. St. Louis police dispatchers start at $41,000, and that's after a recent raise. It's not good enough. Right now, the city is short about 40 police dispatchers and 10 EMS dispatchers. Police dispatchers answer every 911 call first and then transfer to another division. St. Louis Fire Department, what's the address of the emergency? One of those divisions, the city's Chest fire dispatch center, Chest Pains, Medic Unit, and route has no vacancies. We pay them well. Number 31 of fire alarm. Their starting salaries are some of the highest at fifty to $70,000, the same as an entry-level fireman. What do you think needs to happen for the city's 911 system to get better? Hmm. How much time we got? Wouldn't it just be easier to raise the pay and fill the seats with human beings? Raise the pay, yes, but also get the right individuals in those, in those seats. The mayor's administration has also talked about combining police, fire, and EMS dispatchers in one building. Do you think that the city can combine all three dispatching centers under one roof and not pay everybody the same? No. The mayor's public safety department also noted the 911 system called the Outmans back twice, but they didn't answer. Jamie Outman says that's because they didn't know it was 911 calling back. I just ignored it because I was dealing with Felix right then. It was also an automated system with more prompts. You dialed this number in error, press three. I had an expectation of someone answering 911, where's your emergency? For the I-Team, Christine Byers, five on your side.